Anyway, I think we'll just conti continue with the paths that we are closest to. I actually didn't go for the Switch Palace this time. If you want the Switch Palace, you can have it. Otherwise, I guess I'll be four for four in Switch Palace taking. Up to you. Hey, I like it when it, you flip a coin and it lands on heads four times in a row. <laughs> okay, this one has it a secret. It is possible. <laughs> there you go. It has like a 6% chance of happening, but go for it. I, I want to see this happen, you know? <laughs> Oh. Tic tac toe three and a derp derp. <laughs> that was pretty bad. <laughs> Actually, also, uh, uh, can you do it again? Wow. Okay. Wow. One thing I know people say is if you hit the block when the question mark is in the middle, it's supposed to work. But I'm pretty sure that theory doesn't work. Actually, I kind of botched that, but I'm pretty sure that doesn't work either. Like, no. See there, I just disproved all your theories. <laughs> oh, so if you go back in again, I think it automatically. Makes them all bad. So then again, maybe theory either is not that or you, Either that or you have the worst luck ever. I, I'm, I'm actually going to go with your theory because it makes a lot of sense. Don't go back in the bonus game or else they'll just go burn, nope, burn, nope, <laughs> burn, nope. Nintendo oversaw that oversight. And I got to commend them. Theoretically, it's also possible you were horrendously unlucky. Hey, you saw what happened that time with Royal Raceway and Cloudtop Cruise. <laughs> 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 oh, that was awful. A bit of context for everyone. Okay, eight people choose choose a race. Six of them choose Cloud Top Cruise. One of them chooses some other track. One of them chooses random. Random gets picked, and it chooses Royal Raceway. <laughs> I completely called it too. Mm-hmm. Andrew did call it. But take a look at all those just blocks sitting They're in the useless. middle of the sky, and you wanna know what they are there for? They are there to just stop the bubbles. I kind of want the Yoshi coin, but at the same time, I kind of want the exit. So let's do this. Ah, yes. The, here's the exit. Here's the one almighty exit to rule them all, because you want to know where this exit takes you? Out of the forest. You've made it. You've done it. I survived. Get... It's kind of like a uh, corn maze. It's like, yes. Except you want to get every single exit. This level's fun. I'm going to totally do it. <laughs> do it. This level has an interesting secret exit, too. Take a look at this. It's Lakitu. Oh, he's angry oh, no. that you got his one up that he was hanging off the side. <laughs> Clearly, he didn't want anyone to steal it. It's the best fishing enemy in the game when you think about it. It's much better than a certain other fishing enemy. Ooh, Lakitu nailed me with that one. Wow, okay, and I got two power <laughs> flying around wow. here. That was very difficult to get. <laughs> so, yeah, the idea is you can trip off Lakitu, and you want to know what? Screw you, Lakitu. I actually, there we go. And heck, I can even take his cloud too. Mine. I stole his cloud. So getting his cloud with star power or a shell will make it last a limited amount of time. Although for some reason, if you get it with a fireball, it will last forever. Don't ask me why. All right, so the cloud will go poof on me at some point. I believe so. Unless I want to say there is a secret in the sky somewhere. Oh, come on. <laughs> we just had that spiny just go right at him. <laughs> uh. All right. Oh, come on. I want my midway point. Thank you. There you go. Oh. I am zero for two for spiny shooting out of a uh, Lakitu in a pipe. Anyway, do I hit the P-switch here? Um, yeah. Up to you. Uh, I don't... It just has coins. I don't think it's ever had really another use. Unless there's something okay. I'm not remembering. That's what I asked for. Anyway, um, it's pretty difficult to get on top of that pipe, but I want to say there is something there. Could I use the Koopa Trooper to make it onto that pipe? <laughs> That's what I Probably. usually do. Ooh, that was good. There we go. Acrobatics, man. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. Ah, uh, yeah. Secret exit. Seems to be a common theme in this world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that takes you to Forest Secret Area. But unfortunately, not as awesome as the Top Secret Area. <laughs> not quite as awesome as the Top Secret Area, but it is a secret area nonetheless. Mm-hmm. And now, I guess I'll play this level once again, because it was so exciting the first time. Look at all those bubbles just floating through the forest, and eventually they pop. I wonder how they got it this far through the forest, given that there are so many other trees for these guys to run into in the first <laughs> place, and they didn't. Uh, anyway, just to prove that hitting it when the question mark is in the middle doesn't work. There you go. So, because I no, knew that no. someone in the comments is probably like, but I've heard this crazy theory from my dad's uncle brother guy who works at Nintendo it back works in at Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. 
You know, with how much of a joke that is, I wonder for the people out there whose uncle really does work at Nintendo, <laughs> do they have a badge that they can wear that says, my uncle works for Nintendo? Oh my gosh. I wonder if <laughs> Nintendo just stopped hiring people who could potentially be uncles to solve that whole problem. <laughs> if you are anybody's uncle, you cannot work at Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> Your brothers and sisters cannot have kids if you want to work at Nintendo. <laughs> Oh. I'm pretty confident there are unemployment laws against that. <laughs> oh. Also, because we briefly saw that if an enemy in a bubble doesn't run into something, it will begin to flash, just as you saw that Goomba back there start doing, and then they'll eventually pop out. Mm -hmm. And that bob was just starting to flash as well. It's something you wouldn't ever notice unless you take the time to slow down, kind of like what Andrew has done. Enjoy the scenery, you know, we are in the forest of illusion after all. Yeah, despite the fact it's kind of creepy, it's not that bad. I guess it's kind of pleasant. To, as pleasant as you can get for very early on Mario or Super Nintendo graphics. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Ah, okay. What's the highest oh. we can get from this thing? Actually, that wasn't going to be very good. And you're about to find out. You can probably get a 50 nope. from that. Yeah, you can probably do it. Although I botched the jump. Although I blame that on the fact that it is now 3.10 a.m. Eastern Time. Woohoo. That actually just creates a roundabout weirdo path back to the ghost house. That space in the middle of the path annoyed me so much as a kid. I'm like, maybe there's a way to get a secret level to appear there. But you'll see why that's there in a second. But it still really bothered me. Anyway, I kind of want to power up before I get that mushroom because last time Lakitu really owned me pretty bad. <laughs> oh. He did. Actually, wow, you clipped through that mushroom pretty bad too. Very go now I should be good to go now I'm one for three on the coop or not Koopa Troopas Lakitu is in the uh thing I kind of want a cape although a star would have been nice eh cape 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 yes 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 all Lakitu's must die <laughs> <laughs> all Lakitu's must die and he just doesn't want to fly any further into the level with me hmm I wonder what makes him do that. He just decides, no, I don't feel like following you anymore. You made it to this part of the level. <laughs> I guess someone, I mean, I guess I was going to say, I guess someone, as if this was a ROM hack made by someone. I guess Nintendo's just like, nah, stop him there. But hey, yeah, you found the secret underwater area that leads you backwards. Oh, is this the really dumb secret? And also why I'm holding this P-Switch and there's a whole bunch of... These aren't cheap cheats. What are these guys called? Oh my gosh. Oh man. We're going to find out at the end of the game and we'll be... That's what they're called. It's going to bother me now. It also looks like they have one gigantic eye with two pupils. <laughs> it's really weird, although I think it's because they're wearing goggles, but... They're wearing one eyepiece goggles, but yeah, wow, one of the most useless secrets ever, wow. What was the point of that other than... Double can... P-Switch! <laughs> <laughs> if I worked really, really hard at it, I could actually pick up two P-Switches, but uh, that takes a lot of work and effort. And then you would take them through it. the pipe and just keep multiplying them until you had, like, oh. ten? Just do that. Anyway, I think. Oh, the screen doesn't scroll. Oh, remove this from Super Mario World Central. <laughs> oh. There we go. Yeah, very nice. I somehow made it. Actually, I just flew up there. I didn't really need the P switch for that at all. Anyway, your point being, if we kill Lakitu with a fireball, which I don't have a fire flower to do, I can keep his cloud forever. But since I can't do that, I'll just knock him out of the sky with the block. Knock him over, knock him out, and I kind of... Oh, the block disappeared. No! <laughs> now, usually you can get items when you carry things through the ending there. Usually it's a one-up, but sometimes you get other crazy power-ups as well. Hmm. But this creates a cross path with our mystery in the Forest of Illusion. <laughs> so have we gotten every secret exit? I think we have. From all the red levels. Yeah, you have the forest secret area, and that level does not have a secret exit. And the game isn't trying to trick us, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Forest secret... Oh, I just realized nobody's gotten the blue switch palace. I guess if nobody else does that, I'll do it next time. Anyway, this one is interesting. You have two moving platforms, and you get to choose which one you want to go on, and they both kind of take you through different paths, but it's just a gigantic auto-scrolling. It's actually not auto-scrolling. I could go back if I wanted to, but it looks like it's scrolling really fast because of the background. If if I if I may ask, are you flying through the forest, or is the forest actually flying around you and you're just standing still? I'm going with the latter. Yeah, that seems more probable. <laughs> the entire world is rotating around you right now. You are the center of the world right now, Mario. 
Oh. But as you can see, you, know, you have two platforms and they kind of deviate with each other. So if you want to get all five dragon coins in this level, you have to uh, stick to the right platform at different times. Mm -hmm. well, actually, so far could... I've stayed on the same platform the whole time. That hasn't given me any power-ups, but it has been giving me dragon coins. Although it looks like I should have gone up for that one. No! No dragon coin for you unless you decide to jump back for it. Eh, you might have been able happening. to make that. Also, here, if you can make it behind the ending... There are actually three 1-Up Mushrooms that you can grab, I believe. But you need to kind of do a Yoshi jump over it, which is kind of weird. Basically, you can jump higher than the goalpost, but as long as Mario is on screen when you do so, it will count as hitting the goal, but not getting the tape. If you are off screen above it, however, it will count as going over it, and you can get if uh, whatever is hidden behind it. So that's kind of interesting. And you're still not going for the Blue Switch Palace. Why would I? <laughs> Forest, forest fortress, fortress is totally mine. All right, do it then. I thought we were in a forest. <laughs> also, is this the fortress that has the interesting secret at the end if you have a cape? I think it is. Oh, note to self, keep the cape. Oh yeah, we have stompy thing and grinders. Stompy thing and grinder thing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. Interesting to note, Stompy Thing is not instant death. I don't think we've mentioned that yet, but Stompy Thing will not kill you in an instant. Also, it would be really helpful if I had hit that blue switch for you. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't have been. Thankfully, uh, I think that's only the one section, and the rest of these are different colors. Oh, no. Will it cycle back to blue? It will cycle back to blue. Okay. Hmm. This level is significantly more difficult without switch palaces, mm -hmm. obviously. Yeah, wow, look at that. My green switch block saved you. You owe me one life. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, as a kid, that grinder that just came down actually got me because I wasn't expecting it, and I just ran, and then I stopped because I noticed the grinder, and then the grinder came down and killed me. Anyway, I don't want to lose this feather because I just remembered what you were talking about now, and I really want to keep it mm -hmm. now. What, what I'm referring to bothered me so much as a kid, and that's definitely my main memory of this level. It was the first time I, of course, didn't have a cape. I was like, what is there? And then I didn't realize that you could re-enter a level with L and R. So I'm like, if I ever want to do that, now I have to beat the whole game over again. Yeah. <laughs> wow, nicely okay. done. I think there's a cape coming up that you can get, oh, shoot. thankfully. I hope so. A green block yes, would do it. That... Or is it this thing? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank God. An extra chance. Yay! I'm going to jump for joy! <laughs> Very nice. Okay, hopefully another grinder doesn't come up, but you're referring to this, right? Don't... yes. Mm-hmm. Whoa, I'm pretty close to these fireballs. You didn't show it, but there is a whole bunch of lava beneath you. And making it all the way over to here gives you a ton of one-ups, so this kind of evens the playing field, I suppose. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There we go. One up minefield. Mm -hmm. I, I, I can't not get the one ups. <laughs> and both of the boss doors lead to the exact same boss, which is. Oh, everyone's favorite Resnor! Mm -hmm. The thing is, if you just had a singular Resnor, would you still call him Resnor? Hmm. What else would you call it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good point. It's not. Yeah, Resnor, Resnor. It should be like Resnai. <laughs> Resnai. <laughs> Resnil. Or maybe it'll be like child and children. Resnellen. Resnellen. <laughs> <laughs> this is too complicated. Although, there we go, the fourth entrance to Star Road. And with that, I think I'm finally going to go back and get this freaking blue Switch Palace because no one else seems to want it. There you go, all Switch Palaces are Andrews. Although, what do we want to do here? I'm kind of actually forgetting the process here. It's been so long since I've actually played the real blue Switch Palace. You want to collect all the coins because you get a 1-up with all the coins, okay? Okay. So we're going to do that. But first, let's see. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes! You want to get the coins first. I don't know why! <laughs> That's what I was trying to tell you. Yeah, I was, I was, it was computing it in my head, but, you know, at 318, <laughs> things don't work right. <laughs> My brain still works a little bit. <laughs> Your land of 212. Or 218. Wow, that'd be weird. Your time zone is exactly not an hour off. Okay, there we go. Ah, two up. I forgot that you could get a two up from that, actually. And there you go. After all that confusion, we are finally going to hit the final Switch Palace of the game. And it looks more purple than blue. That's always been my opinion. 
The power of the switch you have pushed will turn dashed into solid. Your progress will always be saved. <laughs> Thank goodness. Yeehaw, everyone. We should be over halfway through the game by now, I would assume. I think so. And yeah, look at all the blue blocks that have spread all over the world. I always love that animation. It is really nice. And there you go. All right. That leaves Castle Roy's 5 castle up is to you. all mine. That's right. We like Roy. Roy is our boy. <laughs> Which someone actually pointed out to me ever since I started saying that Roy is our boy. That Roy is not actually our boy because he sucks in the game he appears in. <laughs> Which, to be fair, they're kind of kind of correct. Have you ever played Fire Emblem 6? No, I have not. Okay, okay. Have you actually ever played a Fire Emblem game? I'm not too much of a strategy RPG person, I have to admit. Okay. Well, I really like Fire Emblem. It's actually one of the few strategy games where I'll admit I like. And in Fire Emblem 6, Roy is your main character. If he dies, you get a game over, and he's not very good statistically speaking. But he gets this ultimate sword that's really overpowered that gets completely destroyed if you use it 20 times or more. Actually, you can only use it up to 20 times, so... <laughs> <laughs> Like, what we have here oh, is this really funny fireball on this uh, platform here. You wanted to ask me a question? Oh, I was about to say, so I guess you probably save that sword for like the final boss or something like that. That is correct. <laughs> That's pretty much the only use you can really get out of the sword. Also, right now I realize that you are on the equivalent of a turn block bridge from Mario Advance 4, so thank you for taking this level. <laughs> What's the matter with turn block bridges? Andrew, do you have something you wish to tell me? They are my new arch enemy in Mario Advance 4. Oh, wow, I forgot where that fireball was, but yeah, well, let's get that one up and... Oh, hey, if I stand here, not die to anything... <laughs> close! Very close. I do miss... I didn't want to move. <laughs> I do miss breakable bricks, though. They were completely replaced by turn blocks in this game, which is kind of a shame. Although in the Mario World beta, they were going to be turn blocks, and there's even a leaf in there, so I don't know why things changed so drastically. So yeah, in this game, Roy does have his glasses, but he's not orange. <laughs> he's a very orange Koopa kid, you know? Mm -hmm. Roy's our boy? Oh no, he's not. <laughs> bye bye, Roy. This castle isn't yours. Sayonara. Goodbye. I'm sorry for what's about to happen to you in this cutscene. Thanks for taking the, the hit for me. You remember these cutscenes well, because I don't remember this one being... Oh, oh this is that cutscene. Luigi, <laughs> <laughs> you moron. <laughs> Although the, the accident still goes under my name when, for claiming insurance. Uh, oh, I, I guess we got a better insurance benefit when, you, when we pretended you were the one who took the hit. <laughs> Mario has, like, ultimate coverage. But Luigi never stars in anything, so he has, like, the basic plan.